Some crazy Indian people are doing a thing that even ISRO haven't done yet. They are planning to ferry the moon by sending a rover on it. Team Indus is an Indian private startup which are working on mission to send a rover on moon. They are also challenging many nations which are doing the same thing. Are you confused? Let explore this more. Actually, this all started by the competition started by the Google named as Google Lunar X Prize. And many participants enrolled for this. So, without wasting any time let's get started. On 2012, Google announced for one of the biggest competition of Earth, the Google Lunar X Prize. They invited and encouraged the private groups for sending a rover on Moon, and the prize for the winner team will be 30 million US dollars, which sums up to 195 crore rupees. Team Indus is going to represent India. It is a great thing that India is also up there to accept the challenge. This competition comprises of three processes to get verified for the final launch. First one is landing, if team make a lander for the rover and it works properly, then Google give them support prize of $1 million. Second is mobility, rover should move fluently passing all the obstacles. Last one is camera, rover have to send the HD videography of the moon for many hours, so it should work properly and stream the videos without buffering and lag. If the team passes all the tests, it is officially verified for the Google Lunar X Prize. This competition was organized to demonstrate what common people can do. This competition will open a new arena for commercial flight to moon and letting the space exploration in the hands of common men. In this audacious challenge, India is not behind. Team Indus have been enrolled for this challenge. They have also passed all the tests and been verified for the Google Lunar X Prize. They have developed a small and highly advanced rover which is named as ECA. Team Indus have contracted ISRO for the dedicated launch of the rover on March 2018. Let's see how it is going to happen. Lander module will be mounted on the PSLV XL variant which would be launched from Sri Yarakota. After reaching the orbit, lander will propel till it orbit gets closer to the moon. When it will reach the moon, then it would carefully maneuver to get into the moon's orbit and will again do the propulsive burn to decrease the distance between the moon and the lander and star landing on it. Its landing would be fully automated with the help of laser measurement and gravity calibration. After landing, EKA will start its exploration. Its aim is to travel at least 500 meters and stream HD videos to the Earth. Team Indus is really working hard to win the race, and if they wins, India wins. This will open a huge opportunity for Team Indus. Up till now, only 5 teams are verified for the launch. They are Moon Express, Space Seal, Synergy Moon, Hakuto, including Team Indus. It means that Team Indus left the other 30 nations behind. This is not the least. 
Team Indus Lander is taking the Hakuto's rover along with their rover, which again sets an example of the international collaboration. So, let's pray for the Team Indus and hope that it would win this challenge. I hope you liked this video. If you want to be informed about all the science and technology matters then ensure that you are subscribed to my channel. See you in next video.